Well, Happy New Year. It's 2021. I think we're all happy and excited to see what this year is going to bring. Um, 2020 is, you know, is history now. And a lot of good things happened in, in 2020. And then certainly we had um, a whole host of challenges. For the uh, real estate market um, here and on Hilton Head in the, in the um, low country area, as well as many parts of the country, um, it's been like a feeding frenzy. Uh, I wanted to give you a feel for the market at a maybe just a, a kind of a high level and a few just uh, top level statistics just so you get an appreciation for um, what happened in 2020 and what we can expect to see in 2021. Across the country, uh, we got information from National Association of Realtors that said almost 9 million people moved um, as a result of the um, COVID pandemic. Uh, certain areas of the country uh, saw migration inward uh, into their, um, to their states and other areas saw loss. Um, probably not surprising, states with a lot of um, population loss were New York, Texas, Illinois, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, California, Minnesota. Those were some of the top states. And then states seeing a um, increase in population include um, New Jersey, people coming out of, I think, New York to go into New Jersey, just getting a little bit um, further away from the density. Uh, South Carolina was a state with the second highest uh, number of folks moving into it. Maryland was also another state that was very high. When we look at the uh, area that we operate in here, uh, the general low country, it was a, an amazing year in terms of real estate. People were busy all year long. Uh, the entire MLS area, multiple listing service area that I'm a member of, had over $7.1 billion in real estate transactions closed in 2020. And that was representing almost 15,000 um, transactions numbers that are hard to, to kind of fathom. In Sea Pines, which is the primary market that I work in, we had $1.1 billion worth of closed transactions this year, amounting to about 1,124 um, closed transactions. A huge, huge, huge number. Um, to, give, to put that in perspective, a few other communities here, Palmetto Dunes had $595 million worth of closed transactions, which equated to about 800 transactions. Hilton Head Plantation had $382 million worth of closed deals for 726 uh, transactions. And that's a lower price point market. Let's say Hilton Head Plantation's lower price point market than Palmetto Dunes or Sea Pines, but the volume of activity was huge. Forest Beach had $343 million in closed transactions. Wexford had $136 million representing over 150 transactions. That was huge. Wexford market had been slow the last few years. Um, looking off island, um, Palmetto Bluff, which is a growing um, community, lots of new construction, new homes, had $456 million worth of sales, representing about 519 transactions. Berkeley Hall, $75 million in um, closed transactions, 137 uh, closed transactions. So it gives you a feel for the, the volume of activity. What we're going to be faced with going forward in 2021 is um, finding more properties um, for buyers who are interested in buying. So uh, for our sellers, it's, I think, still going to be a seller's market. We have lists of folks that have requests for uh, types of properties that they're looking for, and we don't have the listings to fulfill that right now. Uh, so if you are uh, a seller and uh, have a property that you would like to think about putting on the market, it's a great time to, to do that. Uh, likewise, if you're a buyer, then we just need to work closely together so that we can um, take advantage of a listing when it comes on the market. Um, we think it's going to meet your needs, so we have to act a little, a little bit more quickly than when we, maybe we did in the past. But it'll be an interesting year um, following on the heels of 2020. Uh, certainly, we're looking forward to, um, you know, the vaccinations and the relief that ultimately that's going to provide us here in, in the United States and elsewhere across the world, really. Um, so I'm here to help you. Uh, looking forward to 2021, and I wish you all the best that it brings. Thank you.